Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 6. Today, we are finally making the video that I've been preparing for years. Obviously, I haven't been writing stuff down for years, but I'm finally getting round to it. And it's mainly because, you know, Reverse Flash was in this season, but we're going to be explaining every single bit of Reverse Flash's timeline and every single bit that I find important as to explaining how the hell Reverse Flash can exist in all these different iterations. So, this is going to be a confusing video, but please be aware with me, this is a lot of explaining. So, before we actually go into this video, I made this announcement in yesterday's video, but I've got a big announcement because I'm going to San Diego Comic Con this very July, and as most of you know, I'm a student, I'm 18, and I live in London, you know, basically the other side of the earth, and so what I've done is set up a GoFundMe page to help support my travels to San Diego this year. And so for every person who contributes, whether it's big or small, you are all going to be entered a giveaway that I am currently running and I will be running until the end of San Diego Comic Con because I will be giving away a range of San Diego Comic Con exclusive Funko Pops so you know they did some exclusive Flash ones last year I do believe so maybe there'll be some cool DC ones, maybe some Marvel ones and so every person who contributes, no matter if it's a pound, a dollar or ten, you're all massively appreciated and your support means the world to me, so you will all be entered into this. And I'm sure I'm going to be getting some of those Supergirl, The Flash, Arrow and Legends exclusive bags that they get from Comic Con. So I'll be basically rounding up a whole load of exclusive stuff that you can only get at the event. And I'll be giving it away to you guys for free, so I'll buy as much as I can. So your support means the world to me. And this is obviously voluntary. So if you aren't able... As I will be doing some extra giveaways over the summer as we head towards the DVD and Blu-ray releases of The Flash Season 5 and Supergirl Season 4 and Arrow and Legends obviously. So I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart to the amazing people who have already contributed and to those who will after this video. So away from the announcement, that announcement's probably going to be in the next few videos maybe scattered around because you know we're heading towards Comic Con very soon. So. Yeah, let's get into this reverse flash. Let's explain the timeline chronologically from seasons one to season five. Okay, so let's get into this. So reverse flash, we, he returned in season five for a major arc, ending in a way that sets up Crisis on Infinite Earths. The timeline has been completely changed. So let's attempt to explain his timeline. So Thorn first appeared unknown to us as Harrison Wells during the start of season one. It turned out he was stuck, he was actually Reverse Flash in disguise, he is Eobard Thorn, but with the face of Harrison Wells, and he took over as Earth One's Harrison Wells. And due to seeing Harry in season two, which we'll get to in a second once we chronologically get to that moment, he first comes back, doesn't know any of Team Flash are, and obviously doesn't know who Barry is, but we'll get to that in a sec. So he sticks around in season one and prior to season one, and he is said to have come from 2151, much further in the future than, say, even Nora. So, he's from way further in the future. He found out, somehow, that he was supposed to be the reversal of the Flash. That was his legacy. And he created his own Speed Force. The Negative Speed Force, as he dubbed it. As revealed in Season 5. So, the Negative Speed Force siphons Speed Force energy from the Speed Force, creating a negative version of it. It's completely different but has the same properties and is more consuming as we saw with Nora this season. And so that's how he's able to escape a lot of these timeline changes as he explained at the end of season 5 with Nora potentially being erased and she eventually gets erased but she could have saved herself but being consumed by the negative speed force. So he could now travel back in time undetected due to the negative speed force, which all eventually led to crisis that supposedly happened in 2024, leading him back to get stuck in our timeline, to get stuck all those years ago. So he ran back in time, fighting Barry, leading to the death of Barry's mum, Nora Allen, as he was unable to kill a young Barry, he turned his anger towards Nora, and this eventually became a timeline change that was cemented so Nora Allen must always die, that being Barry's mum. 
So we also never find out what happens to that version of Future Barry from the original timeline, supposedly. So maybe that will be explained very soon, but Reverse Flash gets stuck in that time. So after he kills Nora Allen, and he's not stopped by that future version of the Flash, so he seems to have just let him sort of go on. So with the reveal of the negative Speed Force, we now understand why his Speed Force powers weren't working because he needs the Speed Force energy nearby to be able to siphon off of it. As we saw in Season 1, he had to siphon the energy using the wheelchair and he must gain more power to work the negative Speed Force as his connection was disrupted with his fight with Barry going back in time and obviously there is no Speed Force energy existing at this very point in time because it only exists in the future when Barry becomes the Flash and so Therefore, removing his powers, he's unable to get back to his timeline, he can't time travel or anything like that, so he must take over the persona of Harrison Wells to speed up what would be Barry becoming the Flash, and in this new version of the timeline, Barry becomes the Flash many years earlier. So Thorne is later revealed in Season 1 to Team Flash as the Reverse Flash, and Eobaz eventually gets erased due to Eddie killing himself in this version of the timeline, and he is removed from the timeline, you see him get erased. So the next time we see him after the end of season one, he is on a mission to finally figure out the Flash's identity, which happens to be in the Reverse Flash Returns episode in season two. And this version of Reverse Flash knows nothing. He doesn't know who any of Team Flash is, he doesn't know that Barry is the Flash. And so eventually they have to let him go due to him sticking around causing major timeline changes, with Cisco actually being phased in and out of a bed, which was a pretty cool scene in the episode. But now, he has all the information he needs about the Flash and his friends, and therefore, he knows about Harrison Wells now, he knows about Barry Allen. This is at the point that he realises Barry Allen is the Flash, and this version goes back to the future, and eventually leads up to Crisis, where he comes back and the sort of time loop starts all again. So, the next time we see Reverse Flash, he returns as Barry goes back in time to get information, as he is still Harrison Wells in Season 1 at this point, on some speed equations. And this is the Season 1 version of himself. He has got many secret visits over time, as we saw in Season 5 as well. There was another visit with Barry and Nora, we'll get to that very soon. So he never actually revealed any of these secret visits to anyone in the current Team Flash during Season 1. So this ends with, anything happens to me, you never make it back home. This is what Barry says, and that's his leverage to let him go. So then we go on, and this is at the point where Barry creates Flashpoint. So the version of Reverse Flash, after Crisis, who is back in time, he's supposed to kill Nora, he's actually unable to do that because Barry changes the timeline. And so Flashpoint takes full effect as Eobard is locked up, and this is at the end of Season 2 leading into Season 3, with the first few episodes being towards Flashpoint. And so he is unaffected due to him not actually running around using his powers, but he is eventually set free as, as both him and Barry have to escape Flashpoint. And they eventually go back to the night after they defeated Zoom, and things aren't quite as usual. And so this version of Thorn runs away, he teases that something is not quite right, but it's similar to what it used to be. And obviously we see the changes with Iris and her relationship with Joe, and so Barry screwed everything up basically due to him creating Flashpoint. And so Reverse Flash, this version that has run away after Flashpoint, now ends up running away from the Black Flash as seen in Legends Season 2. So he's the main villain, he forms the Legion of Doom with Malcolm Merlin and Damian Dark and is eventually erased by Black Flash at the end of Legends Season 2. And so that version from the altered happenings of Nora's death is finally erased. It is back to normal with his destiny set to be stuck in the 2000s for 15 years. So that version is erased, he is not on the run anymore. So with Eddie killing himself, this version that we see in Legend Season 2 is on the run from Black Flash as he's not supposed to be alive. And due to this changes, Black Flash is after him, so his destiny, this version, was supposed to be the same as what happened at the end of Season 1. He should have been erased at that point, but obviously this Thorn never made it to that point because of Flashpoint, so everything changes. And that's why Black Flash is trying to erase him to correct what was wrong with the timeline. So all goes back to usual, 
and he tries to change reality in Legend Season 2. And then the next time we see him, this is a different version of himself, he's on Earth-X, he's working with Overgirl, Dark Arrow and everyone, so he is our normal version of Reverse Flash from Earth-1, not Earth-X, and so somehow he is a version of himself that survived. We're not sure as exactly what point in time this version of Reverse Flash is from, he's not the same version on Legends because he got erased, but another which is left rather unexplained actually in the crossover and we see him return in season 5 actually and we'll get to that in a sec but however he fights Barry in Crisis on Earth X and then he's set free until we see the very same version of Thorn in 2049 it's confirmed yes this is the Crisis on Earth X version of himself he's imprisoned and he's locked up for 15 years which is quite fitting obviously it's the same amount of time he's been locked up for 15 years twice and we know that this version of Thorn has existed in that specific timeline where he gets erased but this version of Thorn is able to escape so maybe he's a time remnant so he has Cicada's dagger in his chest this version is a version of Thorn that had already lived through that same experience of Barry and Nora's visit in the 100th episode and so it's revealed in the finale that the information of Cicada he knew he had to manipulate Nora and so it is revealed that he is able to look at the different versions of history by recording a diary of entries using the Speed Force symbols as it will never get erased. That is how every version of Thorn is able to piece together all this information that maybe he himself, whether it's a time remnant, a different version from a different time point, he knows all this information if he's read his diary or wherever he inputs the information into Gideon, whatever version, these symbols will never change even if the timeline changes. That is what was cemented at the end of Season 5. And so at the end of Season 5, Nora and Barry change the timeline and he escapes in 2019. So he organised a plan in which he would have leverage and Nora would actually be erased, allowing for his escape as he ends with the line, I'll see you in our next crisis. So with the reveals early in the season, he knows the timeline is malleable. He's actually manipulated Nora and changed the timeline to his own needs so that Nora would get erased. He would be able to escape and essentially all this plan to do with Cicada was to get himself out. And so now he's on the run and we will next see him in Crisis on Infinite Earths because the newspaper article has set that up since the very start and it's always been reverse flash fighting the Flash, the Flash goes missing and vanishes in crisis. So a version of that is going to happen in 2019's crossover. So hopefully you enjoyed this video and hopefully it made sense. I thought I was actually pretty clear with it to be honest because I had a whole list of stuff and I wrote this video before so it's pretty much, you know, very logical because I've looked back at all the separate scenes and put it all together and I tried to put it chronologically, although it's a bit loopy at points because, you know, with different versions of Thorn, it links into different points in time and most of them have all existed at the point where they had to stick in the past for 15 years after Nora Allen is killed and somehow most likely due to the negative speed force he's able to escape maybe create a time remnant at different points and so these are different versions of Thorn that we are seeing but you know they all have the same information due to the speed force symbol explanation earlier this season so let me know if you enjoyed this video let me know if this actually helped you out because I know I get this question all the freaking time so I felt like eventually after like three years of doing YouTube well nearly three years I had to eventually get around to this video because this is a big one. And so please be sure to check out my GoFundMe page. Also, you can do it via Patreon if you want to do it that way. Or you can do it if you ever go into my live streams, you can do it via Super Chat. I know some of you guys have did that yesterday in my stream and that's highly appreciated whatever way you do it. I think it's probably easiest going GoFundMe or Patreon. GoFundMe has a list of all of you that have done it. So you are all appreciated and even if you can't do it just watching these videos leaving a like sharing them around that means the world to me so i will catch you guys later goodbye <laughs>